Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Let's do it up real big. Stay tuned. Y'all, it's Make a Card Monday and we are going big. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you so much for all of the positive comments you leave for me and thank you so much for the way that you support other commenters who might have questions or might want ideas on ways to do different things. You guys jump right in and offer that support, so thank you. We're going to make this large, large Valentine's card, but the idea can be used for any season, any reason, anyone. I'll give you a closer look in just a minute but y'all know what time it is, it's time to make it. So the card that we're going to be making today is going to be six by nine and seven eighths. This card here is 11 by seven, but we're making the card a little bit smaller so that we can fit it in an envelope that we'll also be making, but it's going to be just as cute as this one. What a beautiful way to make a jumbo card. You can actually mail cards this size. It might cost a little extra in postage, so check with your local postal service to see how much that extra postage is going to be. But I think the person that you send this to will love receiving it. So on the front, I've done some very simple decorations. And on the inside, we have a beautiful but simple card. And you guys know that I'm a very simple card maker. So my cards tend to follow that flow. But I love how it turned out very effective way of being able to get your message of love across to someone but as i said earlier any season any reason anyone just swap out the papers swap out the embellishments and then here on the back i just added a little sticker right at the bottom so here's what we're going to need to make it to make the card and the envelope i'm going to be using two pieces of the dollar tree poster board each piece is 11 by 14 We'll alter one of those pieces just a little bit, but 11 by 14 is what I'm starting with. But when I'm finished making the alterations, you will be able to use a 12 by 12 inch piece to make the card. So we have two pieces of 11 by 14 poster board. So I have a cut apart that is four by six. I have a red mat that is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And I have a white mat that is four and a half by six and a half. Then I have this decorative piece for the outside and it measures five and a half by nine and three eighths. And then for the inside, I have a red mat that measures nine and three eighths by five and a half. And I have the white writing mat for that that measures five and a quarter by nine. So y'all, this is going to be super duper easy. We are going to bring in our scoreboard and on the 12 inch side, we're going to make the card first. So on the 12 inch side, let's go ahead and make a score at seven and I'm going to score on both sides because it just gives me a cleaner look on this poster board so I scored on the 14 inch side at seven then I'm going to fold it and then I'm going to reduce it in size to six so I'm going to cut it this way when it's folded so you can see that a 12 by 12 inch piece will work for this. Then on the 11 inch side, I'm going to go ahead and reduce this to nine and seven eighths because we want to be able to make an envelope. So we now have a card base that is nine and seven eighths by six. So I'm going to go ahead and just burnish that fold line just a little bit. I'm going to bring in the piece that measures five and a half by nine and three eighths. And we're going to go ahead and just add some tape to the back. Like this. And then I'll take this piece and I am going to place it down. Just trying to get it even on all four sides with my placement. So now I'm going to bring in the cut apart, 
the four and one quarter by six and one quarter inch red mat and the five and a half by six and a half inch white mat. And I'm just going to mount these one on top of the other. So let's start with the cut apart. Let's go ahead and just add some tape. And we're going to take this piece and let's place it down like that. And then I'm going to add some tape to the back of this piece. And we're going to mount it to this piece like this. And now we're going to take this piece add our tape and we're going to take this piece and I'm just going to center it on this piece and there is the front of my card so I have these sweet little stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree over in the Valentine's Day section. So I am just going to pull out and I want to see if I can take this We Go Together like or this one. And I think that I like this one better. So I'm going to take this and I'm just to try to get that a little bit straight. It won't be perfect. But I like how that looks on there. So I'm just going to take these two sweet little lovebirds and place them right there. So I think that that is simple but cute. I actually was going to put some Valentines here on the outside, but I think I'm going to leave this just as it is because it is simply cute. So when we open the inside, we're going to place down that red mat that is nine and three eighths by five and a half. And then we're going to place down our white mat that is five and a quarter by nine. So I am just going to take my tape. Then I'm going to mount it to the red piece. Flip it over. Add some more tape. And now I'll take this piece and I'm going to center it, or try to center it, like this. And then I'm just going to take a sticker that says, You're Sweet. We're going to place that there. And on this side, I am just going to utilize just a whole bunch of hearts by putting them in the middle. So I'm just going to find hearts of different sizes, different patterns, and we're going to put those on our sweet little card. So I'm going to grab this one. And let's go ahead and grab this one. We'll take this one, put it there, and then we'll take this little red one and put it right there. So then I'm just going to go over this. So now we have a really fun jumbo card didn't take a whole lot. I'm going to flip it over to the back side and I am going to grab a little something for the back and I think I'll take my I love you sticker and remember you don't have to make this for Valentine's Day. And so y'all how stinking cute and easy was this. Look at how sweet this card is. It's a jumbo, so we need to make a special envelope for it. 
So here's how we're going to make that envelope. So on the 14 inch side, we are going to score at six. And on my scoreboard, I can actually do the six and an eight that I need here. But if your scoreboard only goes to 12, then you're going to need to make an adjustment on the score. So we scored at six here. Let's take that score that we made at six and let's move it over to five because now we want to score six and one eighth of an inch beyond the five. So that's going to give us 11 and an eighth. So all I did was I scored at six, ran out of room. So I took that six score, moved it over to five, and now I'm able to score at 11 and one eighth because I needed to add six and an eighth to that original six space that I had here. But I'm also going to flip this over because I want to be able to score on both sides. Just gives me a cleaner look when I fold. So now that we have it like this, we can go ahead and fold it because we need to make some scores and we're going to score at three eighths of an inch this way. Let's flip it and score again at three eighths of an inch for both sides. Then we're going to do the same thing over here. We rotate it to the opposite side and we score at three eighths of an inch. And then I'm just going to go back over that score because I want it to be nice and crisp. So now we can fold and burnish all of our scores. And now just like we do with any envelope, we're going to go to the intersection because we need to free these inside tabs here. So I'll cut here at a very slight angle going in. Same thing over here. Do not do a deep angle cut. It really needs to be a very slight angle in here. And so when we get to the bottom, I'm basically going to cut almost straight down that score mark because we don't have a whole lot of room to be able to fold up and glue. So I'm doing the same thing here. Now I'm going to take my scissors and just round my ends. If you have a corner rounder, that's perfect for this. If you don't, this is a way that you can get that rounded look on your projects without having to buy a corner rounder. So now I can take my glue and I'm going to place my glue along this edge of my envelope and along this edge of my envelope. Then I'll place just a little bit of glue right here. Now I can take it, fold in those sides and fold up my envelope. So I'll use my big old spatula to get this envelope nice and stuck. And so now we have an envelope and we should be able to fit our card in this envelope. So let's go ahead and put it in. And you can see that we have a fit on this envelope like that. I'm going to take some of my double-sided tape and just run some tape along the top. This is how you can close that envelope when you're ready to mail it. I'm going to take just a little bit of washi tape, run that washi along the bottom just like that. If I was dropping this in the mail, I would probably glue that washi tape down just to make sure that it didn't come undone. And now I'm just going to take a few more of my little hearts and just pop them around like this. 
And now y'all, I have a super sweet envelope to go along with my super sweet jumbo Valentine's Day card. But remember, any season, any reason, anyone. So I'm going to bring that first one back in. And as you can see, this will not fit in the card. That was the reason why I decided to reduce the card size just a little bit so that we would be able to get it in an envelope if we're using the poster board. If you want to use your 12 by 12 and join it together, then you can make that work as well. But I absolutely love how these have turned out and I hope that you have too. Super easy, Make a Card Monday. So y'all, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.